Hello and welcome to a rather different video from my normal drumming videos and Christian videos. This is a video on how to cook a traditional South African barbuti. So what we do is we heat up two or three tablespoons of olive oil in a deep uh, pan. I like using a wok and we roughly chop up uh, two medium sized onions and put them in uh, to begin glassing them. I like rough chopping the onions because the babuti is going to have some fruit in it and I like the pieces of onion to be about the same size as the pieces of fruit. So we're talking about raisins and half uh, sliced in half um, apricots, dried apricots. A babuti is a type of um, aromatic mince. It's not really a curry, it's just a it's got curry in it, but it's not really a, a typical curry. It's a very traditional South African dish, and I've put a little bit of my own spin on it. I like putting one grated carrot uh, into it for health reasons, and also uh, I, I find it binds the mince and gives it a nice uh, texture. And so we stir the carrot in there to start cooking. I put about a teaspoon and a half of grand masala in, and stir that in so that the oil starts releasing some of the flavor. And I brought about a tablespoon of mild curry in. I don't really go for measurements much when I'm cooking. I go uh, by taste and by, by sight. So um, I'm going to have to taste this as I go to make sure that I've got the balance of the flavors right. Today I'm using um, two trays of lean um, beef mince. Lamb mince works really well. Just make sure it's lean. Otherwise the babuti becomes too oily. You can also experiment with turkey mints or even pork mints, but traditionally we use beef or lamb. Now these are dried apricots. I take about a cup worth of dry, dried apricots and I slice them lengthways. Look how fast I can do it. Stir the mints a little bit. Chop it up as, uh, uh, with your wooden spoon so that there are no big lumps of it. And then a little bit more mint, uh, fruit. The babuti has to be a little bit sweet, so the fruit is the sweet um, part of the babuti. And um, I'm also going to put in about half a cup of raisins to start with. You can use sultanas too. I don't mind which they both have a good result for me. And stir all the ingredients in thoroughly, chopping up any mints. It's still in bunches and, and, and clumps. And get it stirred in there really nice. Alright. While that cooks, I'm going to make the custard topping. So the traditional babuti has a custard topping. I put some turmeric into a bowl with uh, five eggs, medium-sized eggs. And a little splash of milk. And then I break up the yolks with a fork and I beat the entire mixture until it's all mixed up. Well, this is really slow. Let's see if we can speed it up. One, two, three. Faster, Jason. There we go. There's a drummer's hand speed. <laughs> Keep stirring your mince, making sure that... Um, all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed. And here I go tasting it just to see if I'm tasting the traditional flavor that I'm looking for. Needs a little bit more curry. Add some in there. This is mild curry powder. Um, if you want a bit of heat you can put it in but I like it just so. This is a Vegeta which is a type of vegetable stock, dried vegetable stock powder. Uh, we get it from the Polish shop. Um, you can just use salt um, and a stock cube. So we mix those ingredients in. This is a slice of white bread which I've soaked with milk. I break it up on the plate, especially um, concentrating on squashing and breaking up the crust side. And then I just pour that in there. This is very traditional. It gives the mince a bit of a creamy texture. Some people put more bread in, others less. I like about this much. Um, try and experiment with two slices, see if you like the, the texture of the mince with that. 
And once again, a little bit of a taste to see if I've seasoned it properly and if the balance is right with the curry. And uh, I also use my eye. I, I look at, at the um, sort of proportion of fruit to mint, and I, I feel like I need a little bit more fruit in there. Let's chuck a few more raisins in. Stir them in. And, of course, my favorite apricots. I love putting apricots in curry. Um, I love the way they disintegrate and sort of become almost like a, a chutney mix in. Uh, some people put chutney or marmalade jam or some sort of jams in their babooties, but I like it just this way. All right, so we pour the whole mixture. It's now thoroughly cooked. You could eat it just the way it is, but we want that custard topping. That's a very special part of the dish. Pour it into a big square oven dish. Don't uh, leave anything behind. And now we spread it out evenly across the tray. And very important, you must squash the mince down and pat it down to seal it along the top. If you don't do this, then when you pour the custard mixture, it sort of soaks into the mince too much and you don't get much of a topping. And rather what you get is a kind of complicated omelet, which is <laughs> not as nice. And what you really want is for the eggs to float on the top. They can sink in a little bit, but most of them must stay on the top, just like this. And then we just put some bay leaves. I sort of put them long ways like beach canoes. I've been preheating the oven for 200 degrees Celsius and pop it in there for about 10 minutes until the egg has been cooked and the bay leaves have taken a bit of color. And there it is, it's ready to serve. So, chop it up. The mince will be juicy and flavorsome. we get this lovely aromatic smell from the curry and the garam, garam masala. And also, of course, um, you can use other spices to experiment. Some people use uh, cinnamon, for example. But I just like it just like this. Mm -mm. Have a go making it. It takes less than half an hour. Very quick, very easy. A truly delicious dish. Please subscribe. See you soon.